Hey party people, welcome back. As you can see, we have new stuff in the background. I thought it was time we retired Connor Wong, we retired Al Bundy, and we already retired the National Teacher's Day, so there you are. We've got some Holy Grail cards for me, and some really nice pickups, and really lucky pulls over here. Some fantastic pulls, bad grade. I'm actually thinking I'm just going to crack it out and maybe do a... Uh, see if I can repair the corner there, because I think that card's better than a 6. Certainly raw, it'll sell more than what a 6 would, but that's a great card. Love it. But what is this video about today? Well, I had a rare opportunity. Um, there was a store not too far from me. Uh, I got a text message from them saying, hey, we're going to do 25% off singles this weekend only. Come on down, blah, 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 blah. Well, the trick worked. It got me in the store. And I bought $80 worth of cards for 60 bucks. And uh, there they are. So this video, we're going to take a look at what I paid $60 for. I think... I got some really, really cool stuff, so stick around. We're going to check this out when we come back. All right, party people. Like I said, $60 with tax, it was $63.75. But really, I thought I got... A huge bang for my buck. I certainly got a lot of cool stuff. A lot of stuff that I like for $60. And, and I think the further back we go, the better it's going to be. So, let's go. I think I, I think this is like 20 cards. 20 or 22 cards. So, the math comes out to like 2 or $3 a card. We'll figure that out at the end. But there's a uh, Hall of Fame, Ivan Rodriguez. Uh, rookie cup card it was in really nice shape and you know what it's a card I don't have he's a Hall of Famer why the heck not again not a rookie but it is a rookie cup people collect rookie cups and I'm one of them hey why not this is a rookie this is a Pete Alonzo power producers from Bowman's best 2019 it's a nice card it's like a five dollar card ish uh, and I paid like a two two bucks maybe for it. Not bad. I was able to pick this up. Fernando Tatis rookie debut. It's only a couple dollars, but you know what? I I didn't have Fernando Tatis rookies, and and now I've got. Well, I, I'm not. You know, right now I've got more than one. Manny Machado, another guy who's had you know some really good seasons. Figured why not. Worst case scenario is is I, I I get rid of it for a dollar or two down the road and you know I'm really not out anything even for a dollar what I lose a dollar but the potential for this thing to go up is worth it for me. Mike Stanton rookie card you might know him better as Giancarlo Stanton of the Yankees. Uh, there were two Mike Stantons on the Marlins uh, when he was a rookie and because he was a rookie. He took his middle name, which is Giancarlo. Is it on here? No. It just says Mike Stanton. But his middle name is Giancarlo. So I think after his rookie season, he just started going by Giancarlo Stanton. Out of respect from the older guy. But there you go. Rookie card from him. He's had a nice career. 300-something home runs. You know, can he get to 400? Who knows? He's got to be healthy. But not bad. Here's another Fernando Tatis rookie. This one is in great shape. I actually got this in a PSA 10 in a card show once and then used that as collateral for trade to pick up a Pat Mahomes prestige PSA 10 rookie card. Um, I can't remember if I put that one up for uh, consignment or if it's the one that's sitting in my uh, case over here right now, but it doesn't matter to me. It helped me get a Mahomes rookie, so thank you. Appreciate it. And now I got a raw one back. Here is Wyatt Langford. It is a blue stars parallel, so it's a prism from USA Baseball. 
Stars and Stripes. A really, really, really high prospect, as is Paul Skeens. All right, and this is the red stripe parallel. If you look on the back, they both say Prism right there. See, Prism, Prism of some really, really highly touted prospects. Um, this guy uh, is, um, both these guys are going to be seeing time this year. Hopefully they pan out. I couldn't hit them in uh, when I opened up some Bowman Draft Chrome. Uh, you know, if you saw those videos, I didn't do too well on those at all. Um, but but the, these guys' cards, some of them are going for like outrageous money. So I was really hoping, but hey, at least I got something from these guys before their pro playing days. And again, for only a couple bucks, I thought that was nice. Next up is a Derek Jeter rookie card. It's actually going to be the first of several, so be ready. There is a Pete Alonzo rookie uh, in the mold of 1993 Tops, which is one of his iconic rookies. Uh, it's not the Upper Deck SP, but so it's the one that I actually have a couple of, so that's nice. Next up is a Star Rookies. It's a Jordan rookie, but it's a Jordan baseball rookie. I thought it was a really cool card. And the comps were only like a dollar or two here and there. So it's not like it's a high, super high value card, but it's a rookie Michael Jordan. At least I can say I've got one. Uh, they don't have to know it's baseball. But here's another classic. Here's another Derek Jeter. This is from 92 Classic Best. Uh, a very early card of Jeter's when he was in... Uh, what was it? The New York Penn League? Is that what it is? Penn League? No, it doesn't say. But he was their first pick in the 92 June draft. And oh, look there. You see, this is classic best. This is just classic. They're both Derek Jeter rookies. Both, well, pre-rookies, but they're really nice. And check out the name behind them. Said, you know, people go after the rookie cups, and I like to go after them too. Especially if they're players I like. This is a really nice Mike Trout Rookie Cup card. Not bad at all. I really hope he has an absolute monster season. Mostly because I paid a lot of money for it. If I didn't buy that card when I did, I definitely have one now. And I would have saved about 500 bucks. But... That's how it goes. Eventually, that card's going to go up in value again. Uh, eventually, it, it'll make me money. So, it's a long-term hold anyway. I, I don't ever want to get rid of it. It's one of my favorite cards, one of my favorite players. But there you go. Another guy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, at least it's not damaged. There's Mariano Rivera, rookie class from Upper Deck, collector's choice. It is technically a Mariano Rivera rookie card. I don't believe I have any Mariano Rivera rookie cards. So yeah, I snatched that up. It was super cheap. Again, most of these were only like a dollar or two. And uh, we'll do the totals later. There's that. Mariano Rivera, first unanimous uh, first ballot Hall of Famer. Um, and you know what? As much as I hate the Yankees, it was well-deserved. You can love a player and hate the team. That's why I got a bunch of Jeters in there. But real nice. Really great pitcher. Speaking of great players, you know, you can love the guy, hate the team. He spent some time on the Yankees. And look here. Here's a Fleer Pat Platinum rookie card. Not in the best of shape. But still, that was like a $5 card. And again, another rookie cup of each row. When I saw this and saw the gold border, I was actually wondering, is it actually gold? Um, but it might actually be just what that set looked like that year. I don't remember 2002 tops. <clears throat> but either way, it wasn't a reprint, so I grabbed it. Not bad, not bad right there. Now... Now we get into some cool stuff. Let's let's grab the whole last bit of the stack. Andrew McCutcheon, game used patch. It's a napkin. 
item may not be from player's debut season. I didn't expect it to be. This is from Topps Chrome like 2020. It's out of 99, 2019, excuse me. His rookie year was a lot longer than that. He's a borderline Hall of Fame guy. He's got a lot of really good stats, but he's been playing for a while. But he's also a former MVP. You know, stole a lot of bases. He's got like 2,000 hits. Like, I, I don't know. Borderline, I think, is where he's at. He's a borderline Hall of Famer. But it was a cool numbered patch of a really good player. For a couple bucks, I'll take the risk. Same with this. Couple bucks, I will take the risk. It's another napkin. But it's Michael Harris the second. Another really, really good uh, player. And is it? Nope, this one is not numbered. But it is game used. Oh no, it's his player worn. Can you read, my son? Well, that depends. Can you go fuck yourself? Jeez, I read it wrong. <coughs> oh my god. Was worn by. I thought it was game worn. Uh, well, that's disappointing, but it's still not bad because I only paid like $2 for it. I did pay 5 bucks for this, and this is a card that's worth more than 5 bucks apparently. But a game used memorabilia card of Albert Pujols. This guy is a Hall of Famer, and it's the 1984. Uh, oh my god, what am I trying to say? It's from 1984, so that's the 35th anniversary from 2019 Tops. Uh, so that's like the retro card, and it's again another napkin, but Hall of Fame Albert Pujols. Do, do, I mean, one one of the best hitters uh, in the last 20 years, you know, and not caught up in any kind of steroid scandal. So you already know I, I have a lot of respect for him because no steroids. So, I mean, that's great. And it's game used. That's awesome. I had to grab this. I absolutely had to. Anyone know why I had to? Go ahead, go check out one of the uh, Throwback Thursday series from a little ways ago. This was one of the chase cards. One of the cards we were hoping to hit. One of the cards that, at the time, was selling for as much as $20. All right, he, you know, Coach Prime was, was in Colorado. He was shaking things up. He was all over the place. It's probably come down a bit now. But this is a short print from 1992 Upper Deck. This is one of the chase cards we were looking for, but never got. We got a Ricky Henderson that's kind of like this, um, but that's only worth that was only worth like a dollar or two. Whereas this, uh, this is probably worth like ten bucks right now. And again, I got it for only a couple dollars. These were a little bit more expensive. The next, the next couple. But here's a really nice looking Freddie Freeman rookie card. Another guy that, hey, he's a borderline Hall of Famer. If he keeps it up, like, he could be in. And again, it's $15 minus 25%, so minus about 4 bucks. So I paid a little more than $10 for each of the last ones, maybe? No, the next two I paid about $10. The last one I think I paid 15 So most of that $60 comes from these last three cards. But it's a really nice looking Freddie Freeman rookie card. All right, that's one. This is from 2011 Tops. That's 2011 Tops update. So he actually was on a roster before he was. But I mean, the careers are not the same. Good career, not that career. But they're still young. They're still young. They still could have play another six, you know, five, six, seven, eight years. Who knows? Um, you know, hitters, first baseman. D, you know, DH, they can all they can all extend their careers, and I hope they do. Get the most out of it, get in the Hall of Fame. Make these rookie cards worth something. Speaking of rookie cards that are worth something, I really didn't have any Acuna rookie cards. None. Keep trying to snatch up graded ones. 
and uh, good lord are they pricey. They've been pricey for a while. Like during last season, uh, when he was doing well, like before people were going, oh, MVP, MVP, I was trying to snag some up, and good god. Uh, they were pricey, but at least I was able to get one raw, and with, you know, getting 25% off the top, hey, I like it. So the, this would have been, that would have been 30. Uh, this would have been like 50 bucks out of the 60 right here. These two cards and the one behind it, plus all of these. One, yeah, let's, let's create some suspense. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I bought 24 cards for $60. All right, so that's less than $3 a card. And this, this is a rookie card that's more than three bucks. This is a rookie card that's more than three bucks. And check out this last one. Home Field Advantage, Bo Bichette. This is a card worth more than three bucks. Uh, these are case hits. All right, home field advantage. It was a really, really good looking one. There might be a little something in that corner there, if you can see it, you know, on the edge a little bit. Uh, but it was a really good looking card. It's a home field advantage and it's of a really good player. It's Toronto, yeah, but people like Bo Bichette. He's a good player. And it's a case hit. It's a really good card. All these for $60. How do you think I did? Let me know down in the comments if I wasted money or if I did really well. I think I did really well. So in the comments, agree with me. Tell me I'm wrong. You know, are these guys... Is, is Freddie Freeman going to be a bust? Is Acuna never going to hit the milestones he hit last year? I mean, I think you're wrong. I think these guys are great, but let me know. Is five bucks for a Pujols game used jersey worth it? I think so. How about me needing to learn how to read? Because I thought it said game worn when it's just player worn. Is McCutcheon ever going to make the Hall of Fame? Let me know down in the comments what you think, because I had a ton of fun. It took forever going through. I went through like eight boxes, and I picked out a stack probably twice as big as this. And I narrowed it down to this because the other cards were like, yeah, those they're they're cool, but good lord, I do not need them. And I felt like these were great little pickups uh, and some cards I would really want. So I'm happy with these. Let me know down in the comments. But yeah, before I cut myself off, I had a ton of fun sharing this stuff with you guys, and I hope you had fun too. And if you did, please don't forget like share subscribe all that jazz really helps out the channel boosts my ego makes me feel good about myself but it keeps the channel growing and that's what we want to do we've been growing we want to keep growing we have a giveaway that's going to finish up i'm going to draw the winners on march 10th so if you haven't seen that video i'll pop it up right there uh go check it out enter the giveaway it's my way of saying thank you to you guys uh for all the support don't forget to be a subscriber um, and yeah, I want to say thank you. And whether you've been a subscriber or not, thanks for watching. I will catch all of you guys on the next video. See ya.